Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my ultimate pro vocal preset for BandLab. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. First, let's add a gain effect so we can change how loud the vocal recording is. Tap on the plus icon and tap on voice audio. Then tap on effects and tap on the plus icon to create a new effects preset. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the utilities tab. Then tap on gain. To make your vocal recording quieter, drag the dot on the line to the left. To make your vocal recording louder, drag the dot on the line to the right. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Next, let's add an EQ to remove microphone hiss. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Tone tab. Then tap on Multi Filter. Tap on the list box to the right of the word Filter. Then tap on Notch on the pop-up list. Notch removes a chosen frequency from the vocal recording. Tap on the text box to the right of the word Resonance. Type in 1 and tap on Save. Resonance sets the amount of noise reduction. Drag the dot on the line below the word Frequency to select the frequency of the mic hiss. To find the frequency, drag the dot all the way to the right and tap on the play icon. Now move the dot slowly left until you can't hear the hiss. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows came you I came from the hiss will probably be between 2500 hertz and 3500 hertz mine is around 2640 hertz I recommend using headphones for this section. Now let's add a noise gate to remove background noise. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the dynamics tab. Then scroll down and tap on noise gate. Tap on the text box to the right of the word attack. Type in 10 and tap on save. Drag the dot on the line below the word release all the way to the left. The noise gate turns the sound on the track off when the sound on the track is not as loud as the threshold. So you need to set the dot on the line below the word threshold as far to the right as possible without cutting off any of the vocal sounds. So drag the dot all the way to the right Tap on the play icon and slowly drag the dot to the left. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Next, let's add a de to reduce the S sounding like a hissing snake. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on de Tap on the text box to the left of the word Frequency. Type in 7000 and tap on save. Frequency sets the sound frequency of the S hiss. Threshold sets how much the S sound is reduced by. 
So you might want to try tapping on the play icon and dragging the dot on the line below the word threshold. Or just tap on the text box to the right of the word threshold and type in minus 30. Then tap on save. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Now let's add an EQ to improve the sound of the vocals. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Tone tab. Then tap on Graphics EQ. Now the settings here will depend on your microphone so you may want to make adjustments to the following settings. First, let's compensate for the multi-filter. You probably set the multi-filter to around 3000 Hz. So tap on the text box to the right of the words 3.2 kHz. Type in 8 and tap on save. And let's boost the 800 Hz to help the vocal stand out in the mix. Tap on the text box to the right of the words 800 Hz. Type in 4 and tap on save. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. If your vocals sound boxy or bassy, tap on the text boxes to the right of 100 Hz and 200 Hz. Type in minus 4 and tap on save. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Next, let's add a compressor to even out the loudness of the vocals. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on Digicomp. Tap on the text box to the right of the word Attack. Type in 10 and tap on Save. Tap on the text box to the right of the word Release. Type in 100 and tap on Save. Tap on the text box to the right of the word ratio. Type in 15 and tap on save. Tap on the text box to the right of the word knee. Type in 4 and tap on save. Finally, tap on the text box to the right of the word threshold. Type in minus 18 and tap on save. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Now let's add reverb to smooth the vocals into the mix. But if your vocals are rap or a voiceover, you probably don't want to add reverb. Tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the reverb tab. Then tap on Space Maker. Tap on the list box to the right of the word type and tap on Long Plate on the pop-up list. Then tap on the text box to the right of the word Dampening. Type in 3000 and tap on Save. The mix is set at 10% but you might want to increase this to 20% if your song is a ballad. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows finally let's save the preset tap on the three dots tap on save as type in a name for your preset then tap on the tick icon I came from the emptiness 
with nothing to lose Then out of the shadows came you If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.